try do you know i'm looking and i can't help Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, today we are decorating for fall. I am so excited. I have everything laid out on my kitchen table so I can show you guys what I am working with. And then I'm gonna kind of play around with different spaces in the house and kind of see where I want things to go. But let's go ahead and get started with decorating. Definitely be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing before you go. Let's get started. Together. If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can't always stay here forever. 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 So the first place that we are starting out decorating is here in the kitchen and you guys probably have seen this tier tray before if you have watched any of my other videos and I decided to move it over here and just kind of swap some things out. I feel like shopping within your own home is a really great way to save money. You don't have to buy a whole lot of things for each season. Just kind of move stuff around and it really makes it feel fresh and new. So I'm going to finish up here in the kitchen and finish up on this tier tray and then we're going to move on to some other parts of the house. Definitely be sure to stick around to the end because I am going to do a walkthrough and tell you guys where I got absolutely everything from so you definitely don't want to miss it if I could stop the time don't you know that I would cuz I just love Let me know in the comments what kind of fall decor you guys are into this year. I have seen so many different styles when I have been out looking around for different things. I am definitely more of a farmhouse style kind of gal. I love traditional fall colors. I'm the same way with winter too. Anytime I decorate for Christmas, I just love traditional Christmas colors, but I have seen tons of different things when I've been out. Lots of pinks, blues, golds, and lots of glam style things. So let me know what your style is down in the comments. I always love to see if you guys are watching my videos because you have similar style to me or you just like to see a little bit of everything. I know that I love watching home decor videos with people who have different styles than me because it just gives me so much inspiration. Sometimes I like to do a little bit of everything. already and hit the like button definitely make sure you do if you are enjoying this video and while you're at it double check and make sure you are subscribed to my channel I'm gonna be putting out a lot more fall content because fall is definitely one of my favorite seasons I'm thinking lots of bake with me cook with me type videos so definitely make sure you're subscribed and turn on those bell notifications that way you never miss a video
We are now moving on to the very tedious task of wreath making and I am not a professional by any means but I got this boxwood wreath at Target last season and I decided that it would be really fun to dress it up for each holiday by adding things to it since it's just pretty plain and neutral and this way I could save tons of money and tons of space because it can get very hard to store so many different seasonal wreaths in my house so this way I have one wreath and I can just kind of change out the decorations for each season but this took about 45 minutes to do the whole thing I went ahead and sped it up for you guys so you can see at the end and I will talk through it some more at the walkthrough at the end of the video I decided to remove the bow that I had on there before and you will see that at the walkthrough at the end. I moved it somewhere else and then went with the buffalo check ribbon. I think that this is such a fun way to dress up a wreath and I had plenty of the ribbon left so I may use it in some other parts of the house. I haven't fully decided yet but ribbon can go such a long way but I think it turned out really beautiful. Can you see me shaking? Hear the sound of my heart breaking. Bless the soul that's aching. Hoping I survive. The feeling lingers on every day of every month. Wishing I just could forget about you. Standing with you, got it all in my head, but I don't know how to breathe. 
All right, so I'm gonna walk you guys through where I got everything and I'm gonna do my best to remember where it's all from so I can tell you guys. But I thought I'd start here with the tiered tray. So let's start at the top. Um, almost everything up here came from Hobby Lobby. This sign came from Hobby Lobby. I got this um, back in like the spring as well as this little guy. And then I just got these little picks. If you guys saw my Hobby Lobby haul, um, this was part of their, um, stuff that's out right now for fall. So I got those and then these pumpkins are all from different things. So this one came in the pack I got this year from Hobby Lobby, but then this stuff that's kind of like shiny, I have had this for a few years and I can't remember where I got this from. Some of this stuff I feel like is from like the Target dollar spot. Some of it might be from Hobby Lobby and from years past. And then moving down here, this little pumpkin came with the white ones that was that set from Hobby Lobby. And then these gold shiny ones came in that other set. I wanna say I got them at Target. And then this guy is new from Hobby Lobby this year. I got that guy back there on Amazon and that just kind of lives on the tiered tray all the time. I think it looks really nice. There is a little candle in there that you can light. Um, I could also light this one, but I'm just kind of nervous with the heat being under this tier. I'm not sure if I should do that or not, but that is a candle from Target. That is the Hearth and Hand with Magnolia um, line. And I've had this candle for a while. They probably still have it there. And then this little guy here at the back is a dish that I've had. And I wanna say this came from like my grandma or someone had this before me and then they got passed down to me and I don't ever cook with them, but I thought that the colors on them were super pretty. So I just put one here on the tiered tray and I just put a little pumpkin in there. And then this guy was actually from the Target dollar spot last year. And I think they're supposed to be for place settings. Like you're supposed to put one at each place. But anyway, a lot of this stuff came from the Target dollar spot. So the tier tray itself also came from Hobby Lobby, but I got that a while back. And then moving over here, I just set up a little area next to my coffee maker. And I've had this Ray Dunn canister here for a while. This just has like my tea and stuff in it. And I love it. So that has, I've had that for a few years now. And then this little dish here was, I'm not sure if my aunt like made it or bought it, but one of my aunts um, gave this to me. And I just think that the color screams fall and Christmas. I guess this would work for Christmas too but I just put one of my fall mugs in here. I actually weirdly only have two fall mugs, which I feel like is so not like me. Um, if you know me, <laughs> then you know I love fall, but this one just says, hello fall. And then this little creamer my mom gave me, I love the kitty. And then I just put a couple little pine cones in here, but I just figured I would use this to store. I have a few spoons in here because I always like to stir my coffee creamer in in the morning. And then I have my little steeper here for my tea. So if I wanna make some tea, then I can just grab that. Moving on over here next to my sink, I just have these two little trays, little cake sand things that I got. These were from Hobby Lobby this year. They were literally like $1.50 a piece. I just think that they kind of elevate the dish soap and hand soap a little bit. And then I just stuck this little pumpkin here. This came from the Target dollar spot a few years ago. I've had it for a while. And then I just put out my Mrs. Meyers hand soap and dish soap that I got from the Grove Collaborative. So that's all I really needed in this spot. And then moving over here, I just put the multi-surface spray that I'm using right now. This is the exclusive Mrs. Meyers pumpkin, spiced pumpkin set. I could scent, I couldn't remember what it was called in my last video. Spiced pumpkin, not pumpkin spice. But anyway, that I just have over here next to these paper towels. I moved my diffuser over here. If you remember, I had it over where the tiered tray is now didn't love it there. So I decided to move it over here because then all the cords and everything could just hide behind my little um, recipe stand. The recipe stand came from Michael's. I've had that for a while now. I didn't get that recently, but they probably still have it there. And then my loving boyfriend got me this for my birthday. I love it. And then next to it to again, hide some more cords. I have like a little charger here. Sometimes I need to charge my phone um, while I'm like looking up a recipe or something. And so I can charge it and then like put my phone here on the little recipe stand. But I just have this little potted plant that I recently propagated, just stuck a little pumpkin and some pine cones there. So I think that looks super cute. Okay, so I'm not 100% sold on what's going on here, but 
for right now, I have this dish towel. I think my mom got this for me from World Market. I absolutely love the pattern and all the colors, so festive. And then this is just a little hand towel and it's kind of hard to read what it says. But it says, grateful, thankful, blessed. It has little hearts. But I love my noodle board and all I have right now on top of it is that little plant. And I just feel like I need something else, but I don't have like a ton more decor to work with. So I'm just gonna probably shop around in my house for something to stick on here. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you guys have some suggestions for what I should do here. I just didn't wanna like go buy more stuff and I use everything that I had. So maybe if you have seen something that you think I should move over here and you think it would look better, then let me know. And then down here on the floor, I showed you guys this in my Hobby Lobby haul. This rug was like eight bucks and I love it so much. It's not necessarily just for fall either. I think you could totally use it for other seasons. I'll probably leave it out for Christmas just because I use a lot of black and white and then traditional Christmas colors would look really nice with this, but it is really big. And I just put one of those little, it's like smaller, it's the little thing so you don't slip. It's underneath that, so. That's what I have going on over here, but now I can kind of step back and give you like a little view of what the kitchen is looking like. I think it looks really nice. So far, so good. So over here on this side of the kitchen, I didn't do anything because I really need my prep space when I'm cooking. So I really like to kind of leave this pretty clear. Um, this little gold basket is where I keep my bread and like other things like that once they're open. And I think the mixer is enough decor over here, but then over here on the bar cart and above the bar cart, I didn't do a whole lot because I have plenty of booze and stuff and all the little fun things with that. I just have a couple little pumpkins here and I lit this little candle, a little tea light. And then I always have in this growler, these really cute sunflowers. And I figured they look like summer and they look like fall. So I went ahead and left those. But then up here on the wall, if you guys remember, Instead of this give thanks, there was like a little springy, summery looking picture. I think it said hello or something like that. Can't remember. But I just think this looks so much more fall-like. And then I just left the wreath up there and the hello. So I'll set back so you guys can see what the bar looks like. I just think it looks really nice. And then I didn't do anything to the bottom. I just have all my glasses and like normal stuff down there. But that is the bar. All right, so over here on the table, I don't have a ton going on because we do eat at the table. So I did put these little place settings so you guys can see and um, all of this stuff here is from the Magnolia collection that's at Target, the hearth in hand. The chargers, the plates, the napkins, and the rings are all from that collection and I've had those for a while now. I've had them I think since the spring. And I just love that they're so neutral because they work with basically any season, depending on what decor you're pairing them with. So I got this table runner here. This is new this year and I got it from Pier One because they're going out of business. So they had a huge sale and I snagged this table runner for like 10 bucks, which is great for a table runner. It's also really nice quality. I'll zoom in so you guys can see it but it's really thick and it has these fun little tassels on the end. So super, super good quality there. And then in the middle, I just have my little butter dish because I'm super extra and it's hobnail, which is my favorite. So I love that. And then the cake stand also has that little detail along the edge. And then in the middle, I just put a candle. Jack picked up these candles for me. He's so sweet. They were three for $10 at Michael's and I just really love the little stickers on the front. Sometimes I hate the stickers that are on the front of a candle, but these ones are super cute. And then I got this little, I guess it's almost like a ring. I think it's supposed to be for a candle, like a candle ring. And I got this this year at Hobby Lobby. It fits the cake stand perfectly. And then I just assorted some of those or some of those assorted pumpkins and stuff. I just kind of laid the pine cones and the pumpkins around it. And that way it just looks cute from all angles. So you've got pine cones and you've got pumpkins. But the reason I love doing a cake stand like this or something simple in the middle, I didn't love having the tiered tray in the middle of the table because you couldn't see people when you were sitting across the table from each other. And with this, you can see people, but if you want to move it, then all you have to do is just pick the whole thing up and take it away. And that's so much easier than scattering a bunch of stuff across the whole table. So I just love the way that this turned out. 
And then over here on my back door, I just put this little wreath my mom got for me. She actually added the sunflower. I had forgotten that. We talked about that the other day. She added the sunflower to this. So if you ever get like a wreath or something that you feel like just needs to be a little jazzed up, a little more exciting, then definitely feel like you can play around with color and texture and add some of your own fun things to it. But I love that on the back door. I especially like it because you can see the light through it. I think it's so much better on the back door than it would be on the front. And then down here, I just have this Give Thanks rug. And I honestly cannot remember where I got this from. Truthfully, have no idea. I've had it for literally years. I think I've had this since I lived in my apartment when I was still in college. So, okay, so now we're in the living room. And this pillow here I got at Sam's Club. Um, we were shopping at Sam's Club and I just saw it. It was like the first thing I picked up. And I knew already that I was going to go with the Buffalo Check pattern theme and I just love the pattern of it and everything I just think it's super cute I also think it's double-sided like if you wanted to turn it around this way then you could just have the buffalo check out so I love that I think it's super cute and then over here on this table I have to keep it simple because this is a really tiny table and I need to be able to put drinks and stuff on it but I always have to decorate every surface so this is just a little uh, vase and I filled it with some of those little corns and little pine cones and then I just had some burlap ribbon and I tied it around it. I've had this vase and the ribbon since last year. I may have actually had it for a few years and then I just got the vase filler this year and those bags of vase filler were super cheap. They were like three or four dollars a piece. I was able to stretch those bags pretty far. You're going to see those corn and those um, little pine cones in multiple places so definitely good bang for your buck. So I'm so disappointed because I told you guys in my last video that I was hopefully getting a couch cover that was going to work for this couch and it was super cute. It had a skirt on it like the couch does and I loved the pattern of it and everything and like the way you tucked it into the cushions. It was literally the perfect couch cover and then I went to sit on it and it was the most itchy uncomfortable fabric ever. So I was really bummed about that. So I sent it back, I got it on Amazon. Maybe I'll try another one. But for now, I just draped this blanket here that I got from Demdeco. They kindly sent that to me a while ago. And then I have these pillow covers. So tip if you are like me and you live in a small space and you don't have a lot of room to store things, I have been getting pillow covers instead of full-size pillows other than this one because I was so tempted by this and I had to. But anyway, you could also use this in multiple rooms. But I usually try to get pillow covers for different seasons because these are old pillows that came with this couch and they're kind of dingy. So I just cover them up with these pillow covers and those pillow covers were two for $10. You can't get two pillows for $10 like basically anywhere. So way better deal to get the pillow covers than to buy the full size pillows. And then when you're done with them, they store so much easier than a big pillow. All right, so this fireplace is like my pride and joy. It's honestly my favorite thing about my house. I would say probably the most favorite thing about my house. I just absolutely love this. I think that having a fireplace like this makes it so incredibly easy to decorate. So I'm gonna walk you guys through where I got everything from, but I'm just absolutely in love with how it turned out. Okay, so starting on the right side here, a lot of this stuff is stuff I've had before and a few new things. So this guy here is new this year. I got it at Kohl's. Kohl's always has stuff on clearance and always on sale. And the other day I returned something to Amazon and they just gave me a $5 gift card just for returning something to Amazon. So definitely uh, check out Kohl's. They have tons of really, really cute things. But that I got this year, this pumpkin I've had for a while. I wanna say Target, but I'm not 100% sure. These little mice my aunt got for me I think are so cute and I put this little candle here because to me it just reminds me of like the mice are warming themselves by the fire. I think it's so cute. More of those little pumpkins and pine cones and corn. I just kind of have those um, like throughout and then I did the same thing. This garland was actually from I want to say it was the summer collection the magnolia line and it's pretty neutral so i thought i could dress it up to make it more like fall because these garlands can be kind of expensive like even 20 or 30 dollars 
I don't really want to get one for every season, but I'd rather just spend a few bucks on some things to kind of stick in here and dress it up and make it more seasonal. So I use these little white pumpkin picks. They're actually picks and I got those at Hobby Lobby. Those were like a dollar or so a piece. And then I scattered in some more of those um, pine cones and corn and things like that. I did that throughout the entire thing. And then here in the center, I have a pumpkin spice candle and I am in love with this amber glass trend right now. I think it is so vintage and so cute and it smells really good. So that's a three wick candle. So pretty good for this room since it's a pretty good size room. And then going over here, I have more of those assorted things. You can kind of see these battery operated candles I have behind here. I think I need to change the batteries. I have not changed those batteries since last Christmas. So they have done really well. They've lasted almost a whole year, which is great. And then this last thing here on the end, this fall sweet fall sign I got at Hobby Lobby this year. And if you missed that video, you definitely wanna go check it out because I kind of talked about how much stuff costs and I got so many amazing deals. This thing was like $3. Um, so lots of really cute things for pretty affordable. All right, so down here is still a little bit of a work in progress, but I have this lantern here that I got from AC Moore and I've had that for quite a while and I love to decorate this for different seasons. I just leave these little battery operated candles in here and then I can just fill it with whatever I want to. So I use these gold pumpkins and there's some like gold acorns and stuff in there. I think at night I'm gonna see how it looks because I'm hoping that it makes the, the light makes the gold really sparkly and shiny, but we'll see how that looks. And then I have this little sign here. I'm not sure if this is gonna stay here or if there's another spot that I can put it, but it says bless stressed and football obsessed because we are getting ready for football season. And then I've had this planter since summertime and I just left it here. I kind of tried to tuck the sign like in front of it a little bit just cause the colors aren't fully fall, but you get the idea. And then here in the middle, I do have a wood burning fireplace, but it would be a fire hazard for me to actually burn a fire in it. So instead I just decorate the inside, which I think looks really cute. So works for me. And I have this grayish box here. And I wanna say I got this either at Tuesday morning or Home Goods, and I've had that for several years now. And then these wood birch pieces I got off of Amazon. This is real wood. I did not want fake stuff. I did get fake flowers though, because obviously those will die. And I think those are from Target. And then the sign, I wanna say that's a Target dollar spot item from a few years ago. This pumpkin I've had for a few years. So much stuff just really is still my style that I don't have to get a bunch of new things. I just love everything that I've collected and it all goes together so well. And then I moved this basket. I've had it for a while. This used to be my mom's and I moved it over here and just stuck a little blanket and pillows. Um, my kitten really likes to curl up in there. So I figured that would be a good little spot for her to curl up in. I showed you guys my front door wreath and I really like how this is turning out. I think I might put a bow or something on it. I'm not really sure. I'm not a wreath maker. This is really not my expertise, but I think it turned out okay. It's not too bad. I'll be curious when I drive by my house, like how it looks from the street. I think sometimes that's pretty important, but a lot of times I leave this door open because my cat really likes to lay here in the sunshine. And so I always leave that open. So the storm door is open and I can't wait to do the outside, by the way, I'm probably going to do that in a separate video, the outside front porch area. But anyway, so I usually leave this door open. And so I thought that this really, really matched super well with all of the colors that I have going on in the living room. So I'm gonna turn over here and I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see what the whole living room looks like. And you can just see all the Buffalo check and everything really, really matches the wreath nicely. So I thought that looked really nice. And then of course we have all the kitty toys. Okay, so here in the bathroom, I went super simple. I just put this sweet little towel up here on the wall that I got from Kohl's, and this is only like a few dollars for this little towel here. And then I don't have a festive soap, like hand soap for in here, mostly because the soap that I usually put here in the bathroom is the leftover one from the kitchen sink when it starts to get kind of empty. I usually shuffle my soaps around from the different sinks based on like where I need one. So this one was on the kitchen sink and then I put the apple cider scent um, on the sink. So 
This will do for now. And this is the Fresh Cut Grass scent. And then I just did a little candle and a little pumpkin here. So I can burn this candle like when I have guests over or if I'm in here taking a bath. And then over here on the toilet, I just put a little pumpkin next to the box of tissues that I have. And then on the wall here, I removed the sign that I had before and I just put up this little wreath that I got from Target. And I had this originally in the kitchen, so I just repurposed this in the house. Always shop in your house. It definitely helps you to save money when you are decorating, but that is the bathroom. And the last thing I wanna show you in this video is my bed. I did put this pillow up here. I used to have this pillow in the living room, but now I have the other pillow and I think this one looks so much better up here on my bed. And then I love my Buffalo check blanket so much and I think that the colors look great in here. And this is a little sneak peek of the master bedroom since I have not fully done the master bedroom makeover for you guys. So I'm not gonna show you anything else in this room, but you do get a sneak peek of my new bed. So I love the way that this looks. And then I just put this little tray here and I put a couple of orange books that I have on the tray just to kind of make it look a little more fall. I have a Mrs. Myers candle here. This is in the apple cider scent. A few pumpkins just to make it festive. And I like that the tray kind of matches the bed and everything else in here, but I'm not gonna show you guys anything else because I want that to be a surprise for that video and I'm not quite done in here yet. That is gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you got tons of fall decor inspiration from this video. Definitely be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And that also lets me know that you guys wanna see some more fall content from me. And I will see you guys again very soon with a brand new video. Bye guys. You should learn that on your own I play cool Cause I hope you pick it up soon And you know just what to do Don't you